everything up, destroy Limbo, and we'll have some fun. <laughs> Unless they did Professor X right now. Let's go, what do we get? Bar Sinister. Oh, no, four beasts. All right, we're, we're, we've uh, completely lost this one. Okay, I think we got him. I think we got him. Yes! Triple hit monkey! Mm. Monkey for the victory! Oh yeah! Solid work, team. See you on the ground. Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Marble Snap. Today we're looking at a very special new card, the Mighty Yeti, also called the Sasquatch. I really wanted to get this card maxed out into the Spotlight Edition with this beautiful variant. Oh man, I love this with the snow in the background, him jumping ferociously through almost the card itself. <laughs> I'm in love with this card already. His ability is cost one less for each card you played this turn and i immediately thought this needs to go into a bounce deck for sure so we're going to get straight into it i'm going to talk about the deck tech right now okay and also thank you alberto del lego for this variant you are the man Alrighty. so at this stage we're going to go with a full-on bounce hit monkey deck we are not using the cards of bishop or any of those likes cards as well and also What's her name? Oh, having a mind blank. Kitty Pride and Angela. We are avoiding those cards. We are doing more of a disruption early game into a strong late game. So what I mean by that is, for example, starting off, we've got the Yellow Jacket. Now you may think, oh, Yellow Jacket, what's he doing in this deck? He, zero two with a bad effect. Oh, horrible. No. Think of it this way. The way reason I put him in is this deck is one you can use them with a beast so the, the main process i've contributed with this deck is using yellow jacket ice man ant man on possibly turn three turn three or turn four everything goes down you get a two cost sasquatch and also on turn five you can go on the likes of black swan all your one costs go straight to the board then you can easily finish it off with the likes of hit monkey and sasquatch that's the whole early game type of conundrum there we've got a few ways we can win this but destroy is our absolute enemy when we play this deck we're going full on destroy not a huge amount of tech cards like enchantress or shang chi but that's totally fine what we're going to work with here mainly is ant-man secure the location get a good one five power very handy fill up the location and works wonders with the likes of mysterio Moving on next, we've got the Hawkeye for the efficient power. This is the Thunderbolts variant. You play a card here at this location next turn, plus three power. Works wonders with the likes of Falcon Bounce and Beast Bounce combo as well. Very fun, very exciting, and also awesome on certain locations. Rocket Raccoon, same deal. If you use them with the likes of Falcon and Beast, bring them right back up. Get another plus four power. You can get them up to an easy one eight, one nine, and if you're very lucky, possibly even close to one twelve. So very good if you combine them also with Black Swan, a zero twelve, bang onto the board, Sasquatch, bang onto the board, Hit Monkey, and Mysterio straight onto the board. Ice Man. Now early tech card, easy counters, slows down their deck if it hits their crucial card they want to play. Very fun and also a little toxic depending on how you look at it but an essential card i believe in a bounce deck you can easily switch up either ice man or excuse me ice man or ant man for wasp if you want them but i think that slows it down a little bit and i would prefer trying to put yellow jacket just for that two power which can be crucial over wasp can be debatable but entirely your choice now nico monoru I like this card because you can get a free demon. You can destroy the card to draw more cards, move a card, not really the best, but that's totally fine. Giving the card more power, changing the location. That was fun and you'll find out why later in the video. 
making a copy of the card, which is very, very fun indeed, and so crucial if you want two hit monkeys, double ice man, double pork eyes. Hey, even a double beast works out well sometimes. And increasing the likes of her power, especially on Shuri's lab. That is fantastic, that one. And it worked out very well, this spotlight variant. Absolutely love the Nika Monaru Peach Momoko variant. Oh, icing on the cake. But yeah, that works very well with Beast, Hawkeye, Rocket Raccoon. If you increase its cost, playing double, playing based on them, picking up again, playing them again. The whole process of bounce. Love it. Falcon. Oh, whoa, don't want to skip Beast. Beast. Main process of doing with that. Not Ant-Man. Hawkeye, Rocket Raccoon, Iceman. If you're very lucky, hit Monkey. Could be another crucial one to buff it up some more. And then play it again, buffed up with your other one cost. Mysterio, not the best, but any other card, even with Yellow Jacket as well, can help for the later game. Falcon, picking up all your one cost cards, even the likes of Squirrels and Ninjas when it comes out in locations. Even the Raptors can work out very well, but the only other con with everything on the board is the hand size. If you constantly fill up your hand, you can possibly be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> so definitely watch out for that. It can screw you over not drawing a crucial card that you need. Mysterio, good for Hitmonkey, but also watch out for the location base with the clones on negative zone. Very awful, but in the destroyed domain or altar of death, absolutely perfect. Hitmonkey, one of our winners entirely, especially our Spotlight Chibi variant. Very fun, very exciting, and also the heart of the deck. Black Swan, a crucial card on turn five, making our Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Rocket Raccoon, Iceman, Nico Monoru, costing zero. And if you're lucky enough to get a demon, bounce that back up with Beast. You've got a free demon on turn six as well. Which also brings down the Yeti, which I prefer to call him, Sasquatch, whichever version you prefer, down to a 110. Then you can play your Hitmonkey, Yetis, and Mysterios. Turn six, flood the board, and the game most likely could be yours. Sasquatch. Our main showcase of this deck, 610. An absolute killer in this type of deck. Smashing out all your cards. Rocket Raccoon works wonders with the Sasquatch. Always try and avoid putting all your power cards in one location. Split it up with Sasquatch in one location. Hit Monkey, preferably Hit Monkey with Ant Man, I always like doing, or Hit Monkey with Rocket Raccoon because he's buffed up as well. Also splitting them up if you get a demon, chucking a demon in hit monkeys. Sasquatch usually just with one other card can win the location for sure. But if you're not feeling very lucky, try and put Sasquatch with the likes of Ant-Man and then hit monkey with the likes of Rocket Raccoon. So that's basically the deck of Yeti Bounce. If you have any other concerns or comments about this deck, please let me know. But until then, let's get straight to the gameplay and I'll see you real soon. Peace. Alrighty. Welcome everybody and welcome to another episode of Marvel Snap. Today we're trying out the Sasquatch Bounce deck. The likes of Black Swan, Sasquatch, Hitmonkey and the Mysterio. Focusing on mainly one cost and going into turn five with Black Swan and Sasquatch as a hopefully one or two cost card later on. Welcome a name I don't know and welcome to the party. And welcome to everybody watching. Alrighty. We do have Yellow Jacket and Nico Monoru, so this could be very interesting for us. So what I'm gonna do here is play Nico Monoru into Yellow Jacket straight away. And just get some cards, get all these cards. This would be perfect for us. Weird combo, but it's gonna work later on, I reckon. Alrighty, we've got Beast and Rocket Raccoon out of the deck. That's fantastic. Nevada Lear. Interesting. So what I might do here is play Iceman into Rocket Raccoon. Then we can play Beast later on. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Rocket Raccoon. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Got ya. Baron Mordo. Ooh, that's a scary one. That could be risky. But Sasquatch is absolutely fine. Ooh. Okay, we've got the Beast. Hit Monkey. Oh, dear. Was that until turn six? Okay, that's good. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Alrighty then. I think what we'll do here is play Falcon in the middle. Then we can re-pick up everything. 
All right, Falcon, pick up everything as it was. Wonderful. Oh, yes, dodge the Killmonger. <laughs> yes. What an excellent choice. All right, I think we'll go Nika Monaru into Rocket Raccoon. And then straight back into... Actually, no. I think I'm going to go Rocket Raccoon. Hawkeye. And then Beast. And we'll see how we go from there. Then we'll play Black Swan. Oh, Super Giant. Interesting. That really screws our Black Swan order. Oh, there's the Sasquatch. This is really good for us. Okay, what we're going to do here is still play Rocket Raccoon. On the right, we play Hawkeye. We will play Iceman, because Hitmonkey's still going to go off very well here. We will go Black Swan. And then I think we'll go Nico Monaru. And then we can finally go for a Sasquatch play, I think. Oh, beautiful. This is fantastic. And we got Mysterio. This is really good for us. One, two, Black Swan, I believe. Nico Monaru is last. So we're in a fantastic spot there. I think we'll go Mysterio in the middle. Then we'll go Sasquatch on the right. Or should we? Let me think about... Oh, yes! Mm. Now, that would have been fantastic. <laughs> yes, what a great game. I'll knuckles you that for now, sir. But, wow. That turned out fantastic. Down to a 110 Sasquatch. That could have not been a better game. Let's get straight into the next one. Alrighty, welcome Big Yaomi. And welcome to the party. Not a Thanos, definitely is not. Dark Dimension is a little scary here. Not much we can do about that. So they got the Nebula to start. Okay, okay. Thunderbolt Tower. Interesting. What we'll do here is play Iceman. Secure a spot. Slow them down a little bit. Oh boy. Oh, sorry about that little slowdown. Sometimes the computer gets a bit funny. All right, what else have we got here? Rocket Raccoon. That's pretty good for us. I think we can go Rocket Raccoon. Into Yellow Jacket. I'm wondering if we should do Yellow Jacket now. Now, probably not. We'll wait another turn. Okay, there's the Beast. Wonderful. There's the Mysterio. I don't think we necessarily need that just yet. I think we'll go Sasquatch on the left right now, so that way they have no idea what's going on. Oh, Professor X. Interesting. There's the Falcon. Okay, this is good. I think we can go Black Swan. Or should we do something else? I think we'll just go straight into a Black Swan play here. Yeah, we'll go Black Swan. Oh, Green Pop Goblin. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, not much we can do about that. Lockdown really screws us over. Oh, even with the Ant Man. Oh dear. Yeah, nah. Good luck with that. You can have your one cube. Escape. Yeah, let's get out of there. Unfortunately, we'll go get a game like that with the Professor X. I was a little concerned Professor X might come out, but I wasn't particularly sure if he was going to sneak it around somewhere. But that was a good play. I respect that, good sir. I definitely respect that. But that's alright. Unfortunately, we'll move on to the next game. See how far we can get with Sasquatch Bounce. As I call it, Yeti Bounce. Pretty fun. I don't mind it. I love playing Mysterio, especially with Bounce. Welcome a name I don't know, and welcome to the party. 
Okay, let's see if this draws any better for us. Pet Mansion. Alright, we can't do anything at the moment, but that's alright. Oh, Subterranea. That's a bit of a terrible one for us. I think we'll wait another turn, see what we can do here. Ravona, another Ravona deck. Okay. Collapsed Mine. Oh dear, these are very bad locations. <laughs> uh oh. This still can work though with the bounce. That's all right. I think we'll go a bit of Hawkeye into Ant-Man. Whoa, actually no, I've got a better idea. I'm gonna go Yellow Jacket, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, Beast. Bring everything back up, stats watch cheap, and then we're good. Ooh, we just saved a location from the rock. Excellent. This is great for us. Yellow Jacket, Hawkeye, bring them all back to me, baby. Yeah. All right, with a two cost Sasquatch. And we've got Black Swan. Interesting. What we'll do here is, I think we'll go Black Swan on the right. And we've got a two cost Yeti. I think we'll put the Yeti in the middle. And then we'll see how we go with everything else. I oh, will go Hawkeye. And then Sasquatch. Ooh, okay. Not bad, not bad. That's a very good play by them. There's the Iceman. Interesting. I think we're going to have to go Mysterio. No. Yellow Jacket. Mysterio. Ant-Man, Iceman, and The Rock. I need a secure location really good though, that's my other question. So, if they have Iron Man, oh beautiful, excellent. Victory. Yes, good, good, good game sir, good game. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> yes, hey, if, even if we still get one cube, that's fine. I just wanna see how this, this deck goes with Sasquatch. These Professor X's are very, very hard. Especially with Bounce. If I played anything Bounce worthy into there, I would have been in big trouble. Welcome, you, Dyer. Welcome to the party. Oh, okay. Could we do another Destroy deck? I've got to be careful here. Oh, this is a great draw, Yellow Jacket. Oh, Matt Vesevius. That could be a problem. I'm going to play... Uh, you'll play it, Rocket Raccoon. Excellent. Just what we needed. A bit of a break for now. Okay, it is destroyed. This is our concern we've got to watch out for. Washington DC. Right. That's the scary part for us. Okay, so what I might do here is do nothing. Nico Monaru, okay. They could do a double Killmonger here. I think we'll go Ant-Man into Falcon, so that way we can get a cheap Sasquatch. Alright, cheaper Sasquatch is good. Oh, there's the Carnage. Yep, beautiful. I definitely need to change my underwear. Okay, we can go for a Sasquatch here. Yeah, this is really good. I mean, we could, but instead we could go for the Black Swan play. Yeah, I think Black Swan could be better for us. Whoa. Yeah, I think we'll go with Black Swan instead. Yeah, just in case we get a lot of one cost and we can do a Sasquatch early in turn five. Ah, uh, turn six. Destroy is a so what hard matchup. Game. Because we don't want priority. Killmonger is going to kill us. Absolutely destroy us. Oh, there's the ice man. Interesting. An early Mysterio could be our best bet. I 
think will go Mysterio on the right side because the clone will go into Washington DC. Does this have an ability? Yes, it does. Okay, we'll go Yellow Jacket to Mysterio and leave our one cost until final turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to try this. Another Carnage, yep, okay. Or well, watch out for Death, Null, oh, and game. possible Venom. Okay, there's the early Sasquatch. There's Hitmonkey. Alright, I don't even know if that's enough. Three, four, five, six. That is my biggest concern right there. So be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sasquatch is honestly a lot better here. Alright, so death can easily be played, I'm pretty sure. So if you're one, two, three, four, death and Deadpool. So I'm gonna go. Sasquatch in the middle. Go Rocket Raccoon on the right. We'll go Ant-Man, then we can possibly go Ice-Man. Alright, try this one more time. Just in case Death is played with Deadpool, we'll do that with this one. This one. I'm gonna split it. I'm gonna go here, here, here. Let's do this one, this one, and this one. Alright, let's try that. Oh, Adam Zola! Uh. Very nice. Oh, by one point. Oh no, we had Mysterio, so that's all right. Beautiful, we had a sneaky Mysterio to win it. GG, my man. Woo! I didn't want to snap there just in case they did play their death. Very good game. <laughs> that was very tough indeed. <laughs> I'm Zola. I had a feeling that may have happened, but I didn't think they may have drawn it. But hey, that was sneaky. I thoroughly enjoyed that one at Yodai. Very good play. Alrighty. Welcome, my name I don't know, and welcome to our next game. Shuri Slab could be very interesting for us. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm actually going to snap. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to be extra confident. I won't play Yellow Jacket just yet. We'll play Iceman for now. I'm going to try something. If we're wrong and they're playing Massive Destroy, we could be in big trouble. But, I'm going to be extra confident. Ooh, okay, they're playing a similar deck. Alright, let, let's have some fun. Oh, ho, ho, Death's Domain. Even more fun. Alrighty. Let's go for an early Falcon here. Even with the Mysterio clone, that's okay. Their Ant-Man is in big trouble by themselves. Like, we can't play anything there, but that's fine. Isle of Silence. Okay, so there's the Ant-Man. Right. Sasquatch. We'll be good on the right side here. I think what we might do is leave Sasquatch till a bit later. We'll still play Iceman there. Problem is, we don't have Beast. That's my only concern here. If we don't draw beast, we could be in a bit of trouble. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is this is interesting. We'll definitely play Iceman. And I think I think we'll play uh nah. This is tough. Death Domain makes this very interesting for us. Jean Grey. Oh, this is not bad. We can get beast. 
Yeah, Rocket Raccoon makes this fun. I think we'll go Rocket Raccoon because I know exactly what's happening there. Yeah, we'll go for Rocket Raccoon for now. Omega Red. Oh, okay. We're in a bit of a tight spot. We need Beast. There's the Beast. Okay, beautiful. Alright, we'll go Beast. Yellow Jacket. Into Mysterio. Into Ant-Man. So that's one, two... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, what we'll do... Beast, because Mysterio goes three times. That's one, four, down to a one. Go here, go here. Now it's down to a zero cost Sasquatch, and we're in a fantastic spot. Go Beast, we're going to really conquer this spot on the left. Here we go. All right. Yep, that's fine. Omega Red's perfectly fine there. That's absolutely fine. Yellow Jacket straight out. Mysterio gets destroyed. That's fine. Unfortunately, he doesn't get another clone, but that's okay. Mobius. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Echo. You know what? That's still totally fine because we can still do Rocket Raccoon. We've got the Hit Monkey, so that's fantastic. So what we'll do here is Rocket Raccoon. Oh no, we'll go Falcon. Iceman. So that's one, two. Ant-Man. Rocket Raccoon, and we're in a fantastic spot. All right, let's give this a whirl. Let's see how we go here. Oh, uh, there's no Iron Man. Spectrum, gotcha. Is power. There's the Falcon. Then we've got Iceman to really secure the spot. Come on, give us all that power. Oh no, I should have played Rocket Raccoon on the other side. That's unfortunate. That was my own fault. GG. It happens. I lost by three power. I should have really played... Um, what's his name? Yeah, Rocket Raccoon on the left. That was my own fault. But that is absolutely fine. <laughs> you learn from your mistakes and that was a bit of a costly one. Hey! No stress at all. That, that's fine. I'm still... I haven't played Bounce in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty with it. Need to... Need to warm up a bit, as you know. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Alrighty, welcome Savu. If that's how you say your name, sorry if it is wrong. Welcome to the party. It's a fun and exciting match. Alright, Nico Monoruja Star. Oh, nowhere is very difficult. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is do Nico Monoruja, get some more cards, get a copy of probably Hawkeye, and we're in a fantastic spot. Then we can do double Hawkeyes with Falcons. Oh no! Not the Triskelion. Oh dear. Alright. We're going to have to do still Hawkeye. Actually no. Oh yeah. This, this, this is annoying. This is very annoying. Oh dear. Uh oh. Alright. We're going to have to go Hawkeye. Actually we'll go Hawkeye into Blade. Because Blade gets denied from nowhere. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. This works out well. White Widow, okay, that's all right. We can, if we get a Beast or a Venom, this works out very well. And Venom can go straight into there. Oh, Throne Room, that works so well with Venom. All right. Then we'll go Hawkeye. Actually, no, we'll go Falcon into Hawkeye here. And then we'll leave it as it is and see how we go. We don't need the blade, so that's fine. Got off another Hawkeye, so that's excellent. Oh, Triskillian, okay. Well, there's a demon play. Oh, that's beautiful. Then we'll go Hawkeye here. We'll go. Nico Monoru. 
and we'll chuck a demon over here because that's fantastic for us. And then we'll, we'll leave. Oh no, actually we need to get Hawkeye buffed up too. We'll chuck Dagger into a demon, see how it goes from there. Oh, I've got the Hawkeye. Got the Nico Monoru. Got the Dagger. Super Scroll. There's the Beast. Oh, yes. This is fantastic. Alright, what we're going to do here is go Venom. And then we're going to go Beast. Because Venom just really gets crazy power here. My concern is Iron Man and the likes of Living Tribunal. This is a deck that seems like it might be. I'm going to go Beast. Wrong way. Go Beast here. We'll go Venom over here. And then hope for the best. There we go. Because Venom negates the Widow's Kiss. So that's alright. There goes the beautiful Venom to 38 power. Mr. Negative. Oh, okay. This is going to be tough. Oh, Nico Monaru can get every card in my deck if close to it. So what we'll do here is we'll go Nico Monaru into Yellow Jacket. Into Black Swan. And then we can go straight into Hawkeye, I believe. Oh, yes! Oh, we beat a Mr. Negative deck. That is so satisfying. <laughs> a 38 Venom mixed in with Black Swan, Yellow Jacket, Nico Monaru, and we had the likes of Hit Monkey and Hawkeye himself. Oh, man, that was fun. Even though it was one cube, that is totally fine. We are still pulling through nicely. Alrighty, let's move on to the next game. Probably do another one or two more. See how we go here with time. I think I'm doing pretty well. But uh, yeah, let's keep let's keep going on to showcase a bit more of uh, the Yeti Sasquatch. Alright, welcome Mr. Potato. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Never thought I'd say potato in a stream match like this one. But hey, that's alright. Let's keep it cracking and let's see how we go. Alright, so we've got Rocket Raccoon and the likes of Nika Monaru. We'll start off straight out with Rocket Raccoon, as of course he gets nothing, but that's all right. <laughs> sometimes we can get lucky, sometimes we can't. New York. Oh, if we could change that, that'd be great. At the moment, we can't. So I've got a better plan. I'm going to play Nico Monaru, and then we can go into the likes of either Beast or Falcon. There's the Nebula. So I think in this case, we're going to go Falcon. We'll go Iceman into Falcon, because this would be great for us. Need to watch out for Professor X this time. Oh, there's the magic. The guard, the magic. Gotta watch out for Iron Man's and also the likes of Mr. Negative too. I have a funny feeling they're gonna play Professor X in the middle. Oh, Limbo with Nika Monaru is very fun. So I'm going to do that right now, actually. That one, into this one, into this one. Just pick everything up, destroy Limbo, and we'll have some fun. <laughs> Unless they did Professor X right now. Let's go, what do we get? Bar Sinister. Oh, no! <laughs> Four beasts. All right, we've, we've uh, completely lost this one. <laughs> that's fine though. It does happen. Oh no, we get one beast. Okay, that's all right. We've still got a chance. Oh, three Sebastian Shaws. Okay, we definitely lose the left. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fun. Oh, okay, Nico Monaru. 
beast. Ice man, get, get ready for you. We'll go rocket raccoon. Then we'll go falcon. There we go. Oh, there's the star up. Okay, they're definitely doing a silver surfer deck. Come on, Hitmonkey. Come on. Yes. There we go. Oh, we got the Mysterio. Beautiful. Oh, righty. This is fantastic for us. Yes. Rocket Raccoon straight up. We got the Falcon. Boom. All right. And we've got a demon play. Oh man, this is great. I think we'll go here with that one. Double beast in the middle. Give up on middle itself. Play Sasquatch. Play Rocket Raccoon. Actually, no, play Hit Monkey. Rocket Raccoon. Play him in the middle just for some sheer power. We can play Nico Monaru. And then we can play Demon. Let's give it a crack, see how we go. Are ye worthy? Oh! Double Odin, very nice. Are ye worthy? Are ye worthy? That does nothing though, because it doesn't change anything. Yes! Okay, I think we got him. I think we got him. Yes! Triple hit monkey! Mm. Monkey for the victory! Oh yeah! Let's go! Then we got that into the demon. That loses the game. For the middle, that is, but we win the right. Mm. Victory. Victory is ours. I was so scared they're going to play Silver Surfer there and blitz us. But hey, we've got the 320 monkey. Yes. Victory is ours. And of course, Sasquatch and the Yeti combining together and getting three beasts, which almost, almost lost us to game. <laughs> but that's all right. Actually, no, it was you, Mika Monaru. Oh man, that location changer into Bar Sinister actually did so well with Hit Monkey. I'll take the win. Yes, that was fun. Okay, and there you have it, folks. That was the Sasquatch Yeti Showcase for the Bounce, Nico Monaru, and Black Swan deck. This performed very well in this showcase, and I absolutely love this Sasquatch card. Looking forward to using it more in the future. And please, if you have any further comments, leave them down below. I'm happy to get to all of them when I have a moment. Have a great one, guys. And I'll see you in the future in the next Marvel Snap video coming out real soon. Have a good one, guys. And I'll see you around. Peace.